We invite all listeners to tune in every Thursday at approximately 7.25 a.m. for Tutor Speaks, a program which deals with all issues affecting teachers, schools, and the education sector in general. So join us right here on I-95.5 every Thursday morning at 7.25. A blessed Thursday morning to all I-95.5 listeners. This is the segment Tutor Speaks and I am your presenter Patricia Eversley. The month of May is quite significant to the trade union movement of Trinidad and Tobago. May 1st each year generally sees the various trade unions and labour organisations taking part in May Day activities. This year was no exception. The Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association was represented in the May Day March along the streets of San Fernando. The pressure did not let up. Friday, May 3rd, saw Tutor engaged in picket activities outside the Ministry of Education on St. Vincent Street in Port of Spain to highlight the plight of UTT secondary specialization graduates. The association called on the General Council members, Central Executive Delegates, District Executive Members, Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies CCLCS, students and affected UTT secondary specialization graduates to come out and let their voices be heard. These graduates have been deemed suitably qualified to teach in our nation's secondary schools since 2010, but to date are still in the primary school system holding positions of assistant teacher primary and receiving the commensurate salary. It is to be noted that these assistant teachers primary perform the duties of Teacher 1 Primary, a higher post, and apart from the injustice of receiving inequitable pay for their work, they risk losing seniority and miss opportunities for promotion, among other things. After repeated unsuccessful attempts to meet with the Honorable Minister of Education, the Association was left with little choice but to picket the Education Towers to bring this matter to the attention of the Ministry of Education. The association still hopes to meet with the employer and present feasible solutions to mitigate against the unfair and unjust circumstances of members in this position. A favorable way forward for our members must be found. They have suffered for far too long and the injustice must stop. And then the following week, on Monday, May 6th, to be exact, so school supervisors gather at the ministry to protest over non-payment of travelling allowances. The majority of school supervisors have not received any motor vehicle upkeep and travelling allowances for the current academic year, which began in September 2018. In fact, many of them are owed motor vehicle upkeep and travelling allowances from as far back as 2017. There is a tenant in tutor, a teacher is a teacher, is a teacher. And school's supervisor rose up through the ranks from classroom practitioners to principals to supervisors. They are vitally important linchpins for the education system. Failure to pay these traveling allowances to school supervisors is a violation of their terms and conditions of employment and is negatively impacting on their abilities to effectively perform their duties. Schools supervisors have indicated to the association that due to the grave hardships they are experiencing, they are unable to travel to their schools from the various district offices where they are based. Their inability to travel has led to school supervisors being unable to 1. Conduct disciplinary investigations on behalf of the permanent secretary 2. Visit schools to ensure the implementation of the curriculum 3. Conduct promotional interviews at the Teaching Service Commission, four, facilitate training sessions for principals, vice principals, senior teachers, and heads of department, five, install principals, vice principals, senior teachers, deans, and heads of departments, six, attend principals' conferences, sports days, graduation ceremonies, and stakeholder meetings, seven, attend meetings at the Ministry of Education and at district schools, and finally, eight, monitor school repairs. The association strongly urges the Ministry of Education to immediately implement measures to ensure that all the applicable allowances to school supervisors be paid in the shortest possible time frame. 
the inability of school supervisors to travel and consequently to effectively perform their duties is having a deleterious effect on our school system. You have been listening to Tutor Speaks. You can contact us at P-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T at T-T-U-T-A dot org. That is president at tutor dot org. Or telephone Tutor's head office at 645-2134, 645-3825, 663-2738. Or contact Mr. Dudai at 681-8057.